On May 18th, Elon Musk went off on another one of his Twitter rants. He was upset with ESG investing, accusing it of being a scam. Now, this Twitter rant came on the heels of Tesla being kicked out of the ESG version of the S&P 500 index, and at first glance, you might even sympathize with Musk. The top 10 holdings in this index include the likes of Amazon, JP Morgan, Exxon, companies with no shortage of controversies. But before you shed a tear for poor Musk, first remind yourself that the guy still got more than $200 billion to his name. He's still the richest person in the world. But also, he's just flat out wrong on this one. There is no leftist conspiracy, as he claims. But in being wrong, he has done one thing. He's highlighted the challenges investors face navigating this pretty confusing world of responsible investing. Welcome back to the Steady Hand YouTube channel, where we explain all aspects of investing so that it can be a simpler, more enjoyable experience for you. And in this video, I'll explain the three areas investors get tripped up with responsible investing most often. Investors including Elon Musk, apparently. Now, by far the most confusing part is the terminology. There's ESG, SRI, responsible investing, sustainable investing, impact investing, and the list goes on. And they all sound like the same thing, but in reality, they're different. The terms responsible and sustainable investing are used somewhat interchangeably, and they refer to any investment that looks at environmental, social, and governance issues in any part of the decision-making process. Now, of course, how an investor or a portfolio manager considers these issues is going to vary from one person to another. So under this larger umbrella of responsible investing, there's a number of philosophies investment firms might employ. The three most common ones or SRI, or Socially Responsible Investing, ESG Integration, which is sometimes referred to just as integration, and Impact Investing. And we'll link a piece that provides a more detailed explanation on these in the description. But what you need to know is that these three approaches are different, quite different. And what makes things even more complicated is that they're not mutually exclusive. In fact, it's quite common to have investment funds that blend a couple of these approaches. I know, right? Just when you thought it's going to get easier. Now, another area that can cause some confusion is with the S and the G in ESG, which stands for social and governance. People often just stop at environmental issues, and I'm guilty of this all the time. Climate change is the issue of our time, so it's just more top of mind. But there are lots of issues that impact a business. For some, it's going to be environmental issues for sure, but for others, it might be social issues. And for most, it's going to be a combination. In the case of Tesla, there's no doubt that the company has led the way on the adoption and, and the production, in fact, of electric vehicles. So it does well on the E in ESG, but there's also no doubt that there's major social and governance issues with the firm. The governance structure has been questioned, speci specifically, I should say, the functioning of the board of directors. There have been complaints about racial discrimination and working conditions. And who can ignore the injuries and debts linked to Tesla's autopilot features. The S&P, which is rating Tesla to see if it should be in its ESG index, can't just limit itself to environment. It's looking at social and governance issues as well. Clearly, in Musk's opinion, the work on environmental issues outweighs the social and governance deficiencies, which begs the question, who decides? Who decides which one of these factors gets the most weight? And that leads me to the third reason people find responsible investing confusing. It's subjective. Two reasonable people can have very different opinions on whether a company is acting responsibly or not. And that includes investment professionals and even ESG specialists. The Wall Street Journal noted that three companies known for ratings on ESG issues had completely different rankings for not just Tesla, but Exxon, Google, General Motors, and many others. And this variance comes down to simply a, a difference of opinion on issues people think will affect a company most. So it's not that the S&P is excluding Tesla from their ESG index because of some leftist or woke conspiracy, as Musk claims. It's just that in its assessment, the social and governance issues are outweighing the positive things Tesla has done on environment. Musk obviously sees it differently. So who do you side with? Elon Musk or S&P? Let me know in the comments section. And let me know of other investment topics you'd like to hear more about, whether it's responsible investing related, 
or otherwise. And if you found this video helpful, subscribing will alert you anytime we put out new content. Happy investing. Thank you.